Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we happened upon a almost functional vertebrate on top of the Crackabook Tower, and we managed to get it operational within the day. And yesterday, I got in touch with Ohm Depot and talked to one of their representatives, and I hired a couple of Utilitron robots to come over here and paint the base while we were sleeping, and man, it came out great. Going with a bit of a greenish theme for this one, like a green and brown. Originally, I wanted to do like fire engine red for the A-frame, but I didn't think it was going to come out very good. I didn't think it would match the landscape as well as this did right here. So this is what we're going with. However, we are left with one big issue, and that is where do I park the vertebird? This thing is huge. It is it is literally about half the size of the base. Too bad I can't like put all my crafting stations in this thing, but that will have to wait until next week. This week we have to worry, about, or not really this week, but like for the next day or two, we need to worry about the horde. Even though everything is painted and ready to go, it is by no means upgraded to the point where I'm confident in holding off the horde. So we're gonna have to upgrade some of this stuff to steal here like these poles and these like these uh, chalkboard green shapes right here these need to be all steel and then we'll have to repaint again so I am making my own paint so that we can do touch-ups later on so what is on the agenda for today I think I think it's time to probably go and raid area 51 so I'm gonna get a crew together and we're gonna take that place down all right this is it area 51 is just over here right straight ahead and I think this is as good of a staging area as any I got a couple of things to go through before we do the big invasion let's just get the crew down I have five <laughs> random people with us so one two three four and five wow what a crew here oh, what daryl why did you bring the baseball bat didn't i give you a gun well i suppose <laughs> we need somebody for close quarters right so we've got sergeant five ton chad daryl roxy and amac welcome to the team everyone sergeant five ton why are you like already 20 percent damaged it shall remain a mystery i did make up some of these Concrete walls and then wall fence metals or metal fence walls, some would probably say. But um, I don't know what they look like just yet. They are variable helper shapes, and so you can kind of change their appearance. We've got like, I don't know, there's just like poles and fences. They all appear to be just about the same, and that is what they look like. Those are pretty cool, and they're not particularly expensive to make. Um, and then there's these concrete ones here. I'm just kind of Oh, wow. Okay, we got a lot of options for these ones. Wow, we've got wide ones. We have like big blocky shapes here. Oh, these are really cool. We've got barbed wire tips that we could put on top of something. Yeah, let's just put one down there. Man, I do like those. Those are cool. And well, 2,500 hit points. 3,000 for that one, not ideal. Yeah, that was like, okay, so the, the, the metal fences are actually kind of expensive. That's like springs and mechanical parts and stuff, so have to be a little bit conservative on that one. And the concrete ones, it was forged iron and concrete mix. So it, it would probably have a, a nice niche application, but it's a little pricey resource wise if I wanted to like wrap this wrap a fence all the way around the base okay okay so anyway we're not here to gawk at fences we are here for a raid let's get the tools down and uh, sunset sarsaparilla to just wet my mouth a little bit there we go and let's proceed here so I don't suppose we're really gonna have the element of surprise we're just gonna kind of flank around this side here if there are any snipers or lookouts we'll take them out but we got to get around to the front I think all right, here we are. This is the front. We already passed by here once on the motorcycle, and I immediately was shot at by people in this tower here. So I've got the explosives ready. I'm just waiting for them to poke their head up. Sometimes they fall asleep in the tower. There we go. Okay, open fire and literally catch them all on fire. And I'm going to huck another grenade way down to the other end there and see if I can hit that other tower. There we go. Set that one alight. Okay, now we simply need to proceed in here. They've got a bit of a fence here, so I've got the auger. I'm going to rip a hole through the fence here and we're all going to pour straight in. That's the idea at least and give the old laser shot going to try. All right. Whoop. I just completely set that guy on fire. Let him burn. Whoop. Or just evaporate him. That, that works too. All right. What else we got in here? We have... Is anybody still in the towers or have they been roasted? I think we're good on the tower front. These couple of guys over here are trying to get outside and flank us. Oh, man. The... 
the ammo, the reload situation is not good with these laser guns. Although, it seems to reload pretty fast. Here we go, bunch in the tent over here. Trying to go for headshots if I can. And I guess we could do a little bit of melee here. There we go. Take him out. <laughs> Daryl and I just beating the crap out of this guy. For some reason, he won't die. There we go. Anything in their wooden chests? I don't think... Whoop! Got one guy over here. Yeah, I don't think they were really living here. There are barely any mattresses. They must be sleeping somewhere else, I would say. All right, over into this one. Perhaps this is more where they were living. Whoop! Nope, it's kind of more their recreation area, it seems. Whoop! I got another guy in the bathroom. Man, I am on a rampage these days, killing people while they're taking a crap. I think Daryl's beating someone up outside. I'm gonna leave him to it while I rifle through some of this food here. All right, what seems to be the issue out here? <laughs> we got a knife guy? It's Daryl versus a soldier. Who's gonna win? I don't think it was a fair fight. Oh, it, it continues. <laughs> there you go, Daryl. Thanks for the 810 XP. I appreciate that. Anything in there? Nah, okay. I think we're heading into... Oop. Well, we've got a garage here in the back. Let's check on this. Oh, <gasps> power armor. Oh, nice. I didn't expect these guys to have any of that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of guys in here. Well, I'm not loaded. Cover me, guys. Oh, but don't, don't, don't shoot the power armor stuff. I'm just going to quickly grab all that because we had the one issue at the prison that one time where that got destroyed. But that was during Horde Night. A little bit of a different scenario there. Okay, so we're moving right along. I don't know quite how to get into i don't even know what this is that is some first aid hanging out right there though some steroids anybody want to juice me up <laughs> okay last building here and then we're either heading to the rooftop down or underground to get into the big blue building whatever that is all right let's definitely take a whoa no 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 i'm not prepared for this how do we look in pink oh Looking pretty sweet, actually. All right, boys, stay close. It's suddenly very quiet in here, which is a little bit ominous, if you ask me. Yeah, at this rate, I might probably go back over to the combat shotgun with some buckshot. Oh, black dye. Let's try that. I mean, it was already black, and now it's just even blacker. Oh, jeez, look out. Okay, the, the top area is clear. I think there is like a basement portion to this building here. I'm gonna head down and see what's going on there. Is there, yeah, staircase over here. Reload everything. Yeah, the big drawback on these laser guns is the low capacity. Okay, they got security cameras down here. And I do hear some commotion here. Oh, fresh air. there they are. Okay, we, we know how to get to the back there so we can check on those guys. And there's an airdrop coming in. Oh, locked door there. That might go kind of next door, but I have to get eyes on this airdrop first oh geez it's right over there by the multi the new multi trader thing i'll check on that next time i do a trader run all right we're going in this way i think is usually how you do it and we should have through the ventilation ducts a way to get into these guys just rip that out and whoop there we go oh look at the loot in here at a bare minimum we're gonna get some good ammunition out of this place Yes! Okay, we got containers, safes, oh my god, this is a massive loot haul here. Okay, ready to go. Let's start over here with the munitions box, nothing fancy in there. Got some wall safes over here. And I'm immediately encumbered. Great. Hey Mac, show me your inventory, please. Okay, back at it. Level 6 steel club. I guess we can check and see if that's any better. It is slightly better than the one I've been using. I guess I'll switch it over. All right, more ammo piles. Fingers crossed we can get some microfusion cells. I did get some club parts there. Oh, a nice robotic junk turret. That is good to have. And another junk eye bot, which is kind of cool to have. Cryo cells. That goes to the cryolator, but I've seen no evidence of any cryolators or ways to craft one. We have a Henry shotgun and a pipe wrench there. I guess I'll check those out in a couple seconds here. Nice stun baton there. Some shotgun parts. More club parts. So we can get the club repaired here in a second. And... We have the bulk plasma microfusion cells, which are okay, I guess. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, plasma microfusion and then regular microfusion. So I think if I wanted to, I could just switch this over to the bulk microfusion cells and it would just do a little bit less damage, but you know, it wouldn't cut into the good stuff that I could use for the rifle. Okay, I guess we're done here. We gotta, what is this? Oh, oh. Okay, that is how you get into the blue place. And I've got one soldier with me, and I don't know if AMAC can even get out of there. Where, Where is everybody, anyway? Everyone's, like, outside waiting to go home. 
a bunch of home bodies. Right, okay, let's get this steel club repaired. And I just wanted to look, is this like a right? Just, oh, that is kind of a nice wrench, isn't it? Is it like a wrench that I can wrench things with or? No, it's just a clobbering wrench, I guess. And I think the Henry shotgun we've seen before. It, it's, it's kind of a weird weapon. I don't want to use it. All right, Sunset Sarsaparilla for good luck. Do we get the Star Bottle Cap? No, we are reloaded. There is, I think, isn't that a, um, yeah, feral ghoul over there. And on my radar, I can definitely see some other people in here. Let's just, whoa. Oh, that made a kind of a scary sound there for a second. All right, light him up. We got another ghoul in the back. He's not a feral ghoul though. Just a regular ghoul. Oh, but he can tank some, well, they're the bulk cells. They're, these are not the good cells and they are completely terrible. So I guess I'm not gonna use those anytime soon. Better, these guys are just wicked strong. Jeez. Okay, let's let's um chop the goo. Whoop. He's still a little bit alive. That's okay. We can just dice him right up. It's like those sushi restaurants where you eat the fish when it's still partially alive. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. can okay. Amac is in the mood to just completely charge into the bulletproof glass. Oh, the whole crew has joined us here. Wow, let's go, guys. All right, open up that door. We're gonna have some issues here with radiation. So oh, it's my last rad Z. And I guess we gotta do what we gotta do here. Let's go, guys. Oh, we are. Um, not only radiated by radiation, like radioactive material, we are radiated by um, the feral ghouls. They, uh, they have like ambient radiation as well. Oh my God, there's a whole bunch of actual rads here. Okay, you guys, you guys try and handle that business and I will try to handle the radioactive material business. In fact, holy crap, I need a first aid kit immediately. I don't know if I can stay in this room for much longer. All right, one down. How are the guys looking? Everyone's looking pretty good, but I have like, the radiation is stacking on me. It's really bad right now. Come on, grind that out. Is there more? There's more in the back, but I gotta take a break over here. Whoop, too much radiation. All right, the guys are doing good. We just got one rad down, another rad there. It's this ghoul over here that's causing me problems. Okay, ghoul, stop it. Give me your freaking meat. Another ghoul over here. Take him out, guys. Come on, you can do it. Deadly radiation. Luckily, everyone else has the, the radiation mod. I don't have it yet. The power armor mod that makes you immune to most forms of radiation. Okay, that was the last. Oh my God, that's the freaking UFO. They hauled the UFO in here. Why is there so much like glowy toxicness around here? Okay, it's all the ghouls. Chop these guys up. We're gonna make a good dinner later. Oh, yep. Okay, so we've got some more radiation to deal with. Let's just run back here. I, I don't know. I, I would imagine that We've woken everyone up back here, but I guess no guarantees. Oh, and back here, this is like the mega radiation source back here. This must have been like the engine or the, the fuel cell or something for the UFO back here. Let's just get rid of that before we pass out and die. More radioactive material over here. This UFO was loaded with it. Okay, is that it? I think it is. However, I hear some thrashing. I do think that we have attention from outside. Okay, let's um, let's get on top of the UFO and see if there's anything good inside. The last time I saw a UFO, well, I think it was this UFO. I mean, it was just nearby, but the last time we got the alien blaster and some alien blaster ammunition out of it. And I'm curious to see if we can get the same thing Again, indeed, a level two alien blaster and 120 more alien energy cells. Hopefully I'm kind of specced into that. I can get some more bang for my buck there. Working stiff crate here for tools digest up to 68 on that. Probably means I could get a better auger here in the near future. Is there anything else around here? I guess they were just, looks like they were doing some experiments here and trying to figure out, trying to salvage some of the technology out of it like Trader Borg does. I wonder if Trader Borg had anything to do with this, huh? Oh. It's a new steel pickaxe, which is kind of cool because the steel pickaxe I had before broke and I didn't have any steel tool parts to repair it with. Okay, well, I do think that we've gotten everything out of here that we can get out of here. I could I could wrench some stuff here, but that's probably not the best use of my time. Yeah, and I, it's potentially screamers are here as well, so I'm kind of keen on at least not being um, on ground level when they detect me. Let's try to get out of here. Right, yeah, I don't want to be underground. We, we want to be on ground level. Here we go. I can hear them. They're pretty close. It's pretty solid structure, though. I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. Who do we have out here? Somebody got drawn into the action. It's Raw Gage. What's up, Raw? 
Let's see if we can hire this guy. We definitely can and just scoop you right up. Well, I guess didn't have to do that. You could just kind of walk with the rest of us, but I'll give you a piggyback ride. Oh man, look at those towers. They are completely gone. Okay, outside here we have area 51. Well, no, I mean, sorry, we have Red Mesa, restricted area. We've done the USAF area 51, I guess. I don't know. I, I just assumed that this was the enclave here, but I haven't exactly had any discussions with the individuals to like find out who they're from, who's paying them, what their mission is. But um, apparently it could be the gunners as well. We could be fighting against the gunner faction. I'm not entirely sure. I just assumed that, you know, this is USAF Area 51. This is definitely government property. I, have, I figured it was a government organization that was kind of in charge of this place, but maybe they've um, subcontracted the the defense of this area out to the gunners. We may never know. All right, I'm gonna head back to the base and start getting ready for base upgrades, paint touch-ups, and getting ready for tomorrow's horde. Okay, I do believe we are back in business. Everything is put away and organized, and I've got the tool belt reorganized as well. Gonna be rolling with the combat shotgun again, although we want that on the buckshot. We'll save the slugs for horde night, basically. We have... 97 plus, where's all the stacks? We have 10 boxes up here. So we're doing fine on that front. I did talk to Johnny and I, we discussed the whole, oh, look at this guy with the power hammer. He's just always lurking around here. I don't know why he doesn't want to join us. But anyway, I did talk to Johnny and we discussed the whole uh, mutant situation here where we, we recently discovered that we can craft AEM solution. There's unrefined, there's refined. There are special workstations that this has to go in. Um, I, some of these list the workstation here. There's a hazardous material handling station. There is a chemical oven, and I'm not sure exactly where the advanced evolution mutagen is crafted. Whatever this box is, is where that is made. And I've looked through things. I, I don't have the ability to make this. I don't think that's something that I can unlock all of those crafting stations. We need to find those out here in the world somewhere. And when we were over at, uh, we were fighting the mutants, where was that? Uh, this co big compound here, this big mutant place, what was that? That was like the waste tech place or something maybe? I didn't see any of that. St I don't think that's what was going on over here. This was just some sort of like a regular old compound. So somewhere out here, I think there is a, a legitimate like mutant breeding compound. That must be, it's how the mutants are made. They must be breeding themselves. And in order to cut off the mutant like repopulation efforts here, we need to find that facility. And the one that we were hovering over there a couple of days ago when we first found the vertebird, it was a heavy storm. We couldn't quite see what was going on, but I have walked by this compound right here. You can see where I kind of came up through here. And I saw the wall there, but I was in a hurry to kind of move on. So I didn't check it out closer. But when we flew over it, that is a big compound. And I think that might be the answer to the question. So after Horde Night, we're going to head to this facility here. It's huge. It's huge. And I think that's where the mutants are breeding themselves. And I am going to take that place down. Me and the whole crew. So we've got that on the agenda. We have Vault 101 still on the agenda. And we have the Storm Raider compound over there on the agenda. We also need to build a Vertibird landing pad, which I think I'm just going to like do some sort of a support um, coming up from like here, extending that way at, an, at the same angle that the A-frame is on. And maybe... And just put like a big pad on top and then I would like to do some sort of a ramp system so that I could ride the motorcycle up as well and get all of our vehicles onto safe ground. For now though, I think I'd like to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't crash into the base, go backwards. And uh, for now I'd like to just park this over here at Moe's Grocery out of sight and out of mind and out of reach of zombies because I, I'm pretty sure that's how we lost the truck. I've kind of scoured the map a little bit. I've looked around, I asked Johnny, no one has seen it. Pretty sure it just exploded. Here we go. If I could just, whoop, whoop. Does that, <laughs> I guess that works. It's a little weird. It's gonna be difficult to take off. Holy crap, there's a whole horde out here. And I think, whoa, our power armor guy is trying to fight them all alone. Who do we got here? I eats beats. I got your back, I eats beats. Let's do this. <laughs> I 
and with the, the kill bl killing blows there to the ankles. I eat speeds. I'm sorry for hitting you in the back there a couple of times. I'm glad you didn't hold a grudge against me. Good work. Nice. Telling you what, man. This this guy that's been wandering... This guy right here. He's been wandering around here for weeks now. We took down the big castle with him. We've taken down hordes with him. We'll see what he can do on Horde Knight. Because he's kind of on his own out there. Look, he's trying to go and clear this POI now all by himself. That or he's trying to steal my vertebrate. Don't you get any wise ideas, man. I thought for a second you were the one that stole the truck. But since you're still here, I guess that wasn't the case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the... The vehicle... Right. Yep. The vehicle was right here, and you see how all of this dirt is damaged? It exploded. It definitely blew up. That's where I parked it, and um, that's where all that damage came from. Ah, probably a stupid raider or a mutant or potentially just zombies, although zombies don't typically target the vehicles like the other guys do. Yeah, all the more reason to get a garage and fast. Okay, so I do have close to a little over 1,500 steel on me and the paint. So I'm going to get to work on some steel upgrades here, and it's officially nightfall. Okay, good opportunity for me to just do some quiet work on my own here. You guys can take guard, and I will start working on these steel upgrades we'll see if we can get this all done up before morning all right as per the usual the steel didn't go nearly as far as i wanted it to but i did get um i've done some painting so far but you can see where i did the basically the corridor the, the area where the zombies are going to be the the blocks that they're going to likely destroy the important blocks that are going to bring the zombies to us like these poles here and also all of these uh, areas down here where zombies can beat on them like this. I've upgraded that to steel. Everything else is either concrete or cobblestone in some areas. Like there's just some cobblestone like on the upper portion of the wall in here in the pit. But otherwise, I think we're pretty good. I mean, if we just got like one more load of, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand steel, I think I could get pretty much the whole face on the side here up to steel. And uh, with another couple thousand, we could do like the floor of the pit. I guess I'm just rolling the, the dice again. At least it's not cobblestone this time, because last time, you know, you remember what happened. The, the, the demos dug a huge pit down there. Just a few more spots to touch up here with the paint, and we're pretty much back to pristine condition here. All right, there we go. A little bit of extra steel rolled in from the forge over here. Let's just see if I can get... Um, yeah, no, no, we're short on iron, so... Perhaps what I do for the rest of the night here then is head over to the iron mine. We've got the auger here and I can grab up a handful of fuel. We have plenty of that, I think. Yep, let's do that. Where's the motorcycle? Straight over here. Okay, I don't think we need protection because we're going to go do the mining in the snow biome, which is significantly less dangerous than this place. But come to think of it, I don't think I've seen a zombie all night since we killed that horde over there. Pretty quiet night overall. All right, I'll meet you over at the iron mine then. All right, not exactly... Wow, this thing is super deep. I've been doing a lot of mining down here. Not exactly good lighting, but I can see well enough myself. All right, I'm going to mine here for a few hours until morning, and I'll meet you back at the base when I'm all finished up. Okay, it is a fresh new day. Not even 6 a.m. yet, and I have a ton of resources. So let's immediately get the forge working on iron. I think we have plenty of clay in there for, like, the rest of our lifetime. So let's just get this juiced up for a couple of days, make sure that all smelts in there properly. And I've also got uh, some diamonds, some gold, some silver. I think the gold and silver is just good for selling, so drop it in there. The diamonds are good for crafting laser weapons. And on the off chance I want to craft a better laser shotgun in the future, I'm going to save those. But is there anything I can craft that is a laser yet? I can make the laser shotgun. I can make a level two. That doesn't help the fact that it's like a two-shotter, you know? And it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, so I'm kind of... Uh, I'm kind of like um, not liking the laser shotgun these days. Okay, I don't think I need I have five people hanging out in a storage chest here and I have four downstairs that puts us up then to 11 companions and I'm not going to bring any of them with me today. I'm going to go solo today. I want to do a bit of a scouting expedition over at um, the, the facility, the mutant facility, just to kind of get eyes on it and see what we're dealing with so that uh, tomorrow or the next day, when we get ready to to assault and raid that place, we kind of have a plan in place, you know? Is our friend still over here? I just heard him yelling. Yep, there he is right there. Jill Jugs now. All right, the, the question is, whoop, I, I can't even get into the bird. Why can't I get in? Whoop, I, oh no, 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 no. Whoa, crap, I got hit by a rotor. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. This looks very bad though. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah! Big Mama! 
Yeah, we might not have a vertebrate anymore, honestly. Jill Jugs, I need you. Help. Oh, I think I got it. Hang on. Jeez, Big Mama tanking. Yeah, now you show up. Where are you anyway? There he is, Jill. <laughs> Nice of you to join me. Uh, do you think you could help me give you a little bit of a lift out of here, maybe? Jeez, that was a horrible idea. What am I doing here? Trying to park these vertebrates on top of garage rooftops. My goodness. Okay, Mo, we don't need you here. Thinking if I carve off the awning here, I might have an avenue to take off. If not, I'm gonna light this whole place on fire. In fact, I might just, just do that now. Just get this place out of here once and for all. Yep, I still can't lift off and we're at 44% condition on this thing. Okay, what I'm gonna do is then, I'm gonna take the motorcycle and wait for this place to burn down. And <laughs> hopefully there will just be no more building here when we get back and I'll be able to get the vertebrate off the ground from there. The old Moe's Grocery- wait, wait, Moe's Grocery or Bo's Market? I can't remember which one that is. I get them- they're interchangeable in my brain. Whichever one it is, it was nice knowing you, it was nice having you across the street there, but you are no longer needed. Okay, and he- oh my, look at this over here. This is the facility I was talking about with the big wall around it, and it looks like there are a bunch of those mutant dogs. These are probably guard dogs that the mutants have set forth. Uh, kill a couple of them, I guess. I think I've killed them all, in fact. Whoop, one more down there. And dead. This place is huge, though. Look, there are the walls and the barbed wire things that we were experimenting with earlier. Oh, and the zombies are just going over there to eat the dogs. Perfect. So far, oh yes, there's a gibbet cage there. I was gonna say no evidence of mutants, but yeah, they are definitely up to no good in there. Navtech Research Center. So Navtech, that must be... Oh, here's an entrance right here. Yeah, must be um, like a biological research facility or something. And a piggy bank just next door. I might actually raid the piggy bank just to see if that, you know, if there's any threat there, we could neutralize that threat. And then when the day comes, probably tomorrow or the next day, we will not, we'll be able to focus more on this place, right? Oh geez, do I dare go in here a little bit just to kind of see what's going on or, whoop, radiation's going on, oh great. Okay, so I'll need, well, that's good to know, because I'll need to make up some more Rad Z. All right, let's just poke our head here into the piggy bank. We, hello? There are definitely people around here. I think this, there might be some raiders in here robbing the bank. Oh, is it the Enclave or, or you know, whichever faction this is here? It definitely is. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, see, this shotgun works like so much better. Way, way better. Let me in here. Get rid of Big Mama there, and yeah, I'm not sure if they were, these guys were raiding the place, or if they actually live here. Not clear to me, this it doesn't look like a fortress or anything. I think they're just here doing a quick raid, trying to get some loot out of here. Same thing I'm here for. We are low on money and we're low on loot. Whoops, I just took a fire ax to the back of the head. Less of that, please. Are you still alive? Jeez. Sometimes these guys are really tough. <laughs> just, just whack him a couple extra times just to make sure. I got a lot of people on the compass right now and there's an M60 going off somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hello, friends. Whoa. Oh, I've been completely stormed. Here, get him in front of me at least. There we go. Oh, and just the magazine capacity on this. It's, there's just no way. The, uh, the laser shotgun is far inferior to this shotgun here. Still someone with an M60. It sounds like they're outside. <gasps> yes, the blue power armor. Right, can I get a good piece? Oh, the legs and the chest. Oh my God, we're, I think I have the boots back home. So we're like 60% um, of the way to a full set of blue armor. Chainsaw there in that box. Here we go, we're into this weapons case. That's not the weapons case. <laughs> Stupid iBots in the way there. Whoa, 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 what is this? Zer 15 prototype? That's a laser gun there. And a crowbar, which could be good for opening things. No way. What's this doing for damage? 67.5 compared to 58.7. Slightly slower rate of fire, but more ranged damage for the Zer 15 prototype. Unique prototype variant of the laser rifle, higher damage per beam and shoots five rounds in one trigger pull. Hip fire behaves more like a shotgun while aimed fire allows heavy damage to a single target. Okay, wait a minute, five rounds 
per shot. Whoa, look how cool that looks. Okay, so... Wait. Is that... It's like, it's got a splitter on it. I think it's like a five-way laser splitter. I can't exactly tell though, it, you know, speed of light and all. It's difficult for me to see how many beams are coming out at once. And let's try the crowbar. Oh wait, that's already unlocked. Never mind. We'll, we'll try the crowbar some other time. Try it on that. Okay, it, it, it does things. It, it hits things. I don't know if this is good for opening locks or... I need to find something that's locked. Look at all these guys. Yeah, we'll go, um take care of the the guy that's upstairs with the new Zer 15 prototype. I love that name. That's cool. Oh, wait. Here we go. This should be locked right here. Yep. Locked and grab. Whoa. Just a level 6 1911 back there. Is this gonna... Seemingly it, it does a lot of block damage. So really good at opening chests. There we go. Far faster than lock picking, I would say. Alright. We gotta figure out who this is up here. Oh, who's- ow! Stop that, man. Who's doing all this shooting? Guys on the rooftop. Forgot to clear the rooftop first. Okay, the piggy bank is clear. Oh, we can get a look at the Navtech research facility from here as well. Okay, some loot stuff over there. We've got some Nuka-Cola on the roof there. Otherwise, I can't see very much. They are, um... They're, they're concealing whatever's going on there pretty well. So in terms of mods, the, the new laser rifle prototype here does not take the laser beam splitter because I think that's like integrated in. So I do get the option of putting another mod on there. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to start switching over to the new blue power armor. Oh, a wild demo there. <laughs> we could like bring him over to the wall and blast a hole through the wall with him. That... Sounds like a decent strategy, actually. Whoa, oh crap! We're getting radiated here at the Shotgun Messiah. Which means probably only one thing. Probably this is another radiated facility, and I just can't do that right now. I do not have the Rad Z, and I don't have the surplus of first aid required to kind of, you know, power through a place like that. Good to know about, though. We can probably hit up that Shotgun Messiah the same time that we do the Navtech facility there. For now though, I think we're pretty close to that airdrop. Let's go swing by and pick that up. Whoop, yep, here we go. I always forget, I roll right up here like I own the place and then figure out that there's like five zombies waiting for me. There we go, and what are we gonna pull out of here? Whoop, ow! Totally got ambushed there. What was that anyway? That was a power armor mods bundle, wow. I will just open that now, that was good for Power armor reinforced plating, power armor radar, we already have that, and power armor knuckles, which can cause enemies to bleed. Oh, that's unfortunate. We really were looking for the uh, power armor radiation resistance mod or whatever it's called. Okay, so at this point in the day, there's really only one thing left to do, and that is go home and start getting ready for the horde. I considered dropping in and seeing the traders briefly in their multi-trader compound right there, but I don't really have, I have like 6,000, oh crap. Oop, that was death. <laughs> I just broke the motorcycle. Quickly get the fire extinguisher out and repair that. Um, yeah, I need to have at least 5,000 dukes on me to benefit from my uh, falling 15 meters. Um, you know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> the 15 meter fall distance book if you have 5,000 dukes in your pocket. There we go. Okay, so the poor old Moe's grocery store is completely annihilated now. Wow. That, um, that did quite a number over here. The zombies, however, managed to make it through unscathed. I should now, though, be able to get the vertebrate off the ground, luckily. And I've, um, decided that I'm gonna park it over here with the Radcats because they have a nice flat rooftop. And hopefully they don't get mad at me for accidentally squishing anyone, because that's a distinct possibility, I think. There we go, that's a perfect little parking spot for us. Ooh, they are having some issues over here, aren't they? Right, okay, the, the boys will defend my stuff, I'm sure. They are pretty reliable when it comes to that kind of stuff. Still need a spot to hide the motorcycle, though. Yep, just Parker right in here. Safe and sound. No one will even know it's there. Okay, we do have a little bit of time to spare. I might grab up the shapes that we crafted earlier and see how far we can get by just doing the plates around the border. Not bad. Actually, perfect. All right, next up, we're just gonna grab the paint color there. We don't need to paint all sides and just 
slap some paint on there and it wraps all the way around perfect okay it is dinner time for sure i'm basically starving to death let's have a sham chowder and that'll give me some hit points back as well and we do need to repair up the armor so i'm gonna get everything repaired up and ready to go and we will fight the horde off okay we're just about ready to start fighting the horde here but i recalled that i unlocked this advanced fire control group mod so i'm gonna craft that and we're gonna hopefully figure out what that does there's also the impact driver which we had a level three and accidentally sold it so i will craft another one of those that'll be ready for us for tomorrow okay so so that does not apparently go onto regular guns let's try it onto a laser gun it does go onto a laser gun what is this an over-engineered piece of circuitry that allows compatible weapons to fire automatically coolers are installed to help prevent premature wear so if i put that onto Okay, it does not go on the alien blaster. It does not go into Aramis's crossbow. So apparently it just goes on to energy weapons and I had the extra mod slot there. That might mean, damn, that the, the color on this is just awesome. Oh, it's full auto now. Okay, so that's what that does. And it also possibly prevents premature wear, I guess. Okay, and I've decided last thing here is I wanna see if I can get some mods onto the, oh, the alien blaster does not take mods. It's alien tech. It's not compatible with whatever we have here, our earthly tech here. I will put some stuff onto Aramis's crossbow because when I was at the trader last time doing the big trader buying run, I did buy myself some explosive exploding crossbow bolts. I thought that would be perfect. We can load 10 in at a time. Ooh. We got a scope now too. And that should help. Uh, instead of using things like uh, nuka grenades and such, I can just use this. In fact, no, I cannot because that, I don't have a good outlet to kind of see down into the pit, but I could shoot them if they were doing damage to the walkway or something, or if they were coming up the steps there. I think we're good to go. Well, my friends, the day 50 horde is fast approaching. So it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Okay, we are just about to hit midnight, which means we're about through with the first wave here. There are a lot of zombies here. There are demos here. I have not seen cops, which honestly, cops are the biggest threat right now because cops are what knock out like base electronics, basically. The blade traps are holding up nicely. I've conducted repairs on them several times at this point, and I'm also making sure to keep that front set of bars repaired. And otherwise, it's just about blasting these zombies. They got all the correct ammo types, and we got plenty of ammo to use gotta hold the line so the combat shotgun here is working a treat and so far like i've had a bunch of demos up in my face here and i've been able to shoot them i haven't hit any buttons no close calls yet at least Whoop! one of the what was that what happened i can't even see right now um something blinded me there for a second Okay, I was just about to comment on the fact that there are a lot of ghouls here. We've got ghouls and feral ghouls, and when they get up into the position here, maybe I should probably take a few steps back, because I've been taking quite a bit of radiation damage, although my health seems to be holding up okay. I think my guys are, um, my, my allies are, are healing me when I need to be healed. I, I do have a lot of hit points that are rolling in, and that my best guess is that they're able to heal me with their advanced power armor capabilities. But now we are past midnight, which means we're on to a new wave. I do want to just take a look out here and give the crossbow a quick try. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is that is fun. Oh, there's stuff blowing up out there. Was that a cop? Because we do not want cops here. All right, get back into position here. What's going on? Do we need some repairs there? Kind of need some repairs. I do think maybe that the shielding is gonna help a little bit. I guess we'll have to wait until we see some cops, but I'm getting the sense that that was kind of a good move. 
this is just a meat grinder here, though. Like, <laughs> just no shortage of zombies here tonight, and it's really easy to just line them up for a bunch of great headshots. Yep, get those slugs out. I might even, if, I, if we get a, any kind of a lull here, I might try to spend some skill points into the penetrator. In fact, let's just try to do that. There's not going to be a lull here tonight. We have three skill points. One, two, and that's all I can do. We got two into the penetrator at least. That'll help us out tonight. Just going to take a step back away from the fighting position. How are the allies doing here? Everyone... Seems to be okay on this side, and it's, also, of course, very quiet on this side. Don't worry, guys, you'll get some action eventually. I do wish there was a way for me to see just how much damage these blade traps are doing, or if this was a complete waste of time. I See, times like this, I feel like they did pretty good. They killed Arlene there, and there was another Lumberjack behind her. Got some hits on that biker there. Oh, that reminds me. We gotta look into a rad remover, I think. It's definitely far past time to do that. I don't know that I can make them, and I... I think I have found one, and it's, um, where is it, though? It's on the Zer prototype. Here, let's take that off and put that, instead of the, um, Crippola mod, we'll put that onto the shotgun here. That should do a little bit more for us, I think. I'm trying not to use the Zer prototype because we're, I mean, we have some ammo for it. I just don't want to burn through it all tonight. We got the slugs. The slugs are far beyond the capability of the Zer prototype gun anyway. Yeah, I'm starting- I like this horde a lot. I like this wave, at least, that we're on with the ghouls. This is actually- it's somewhat challenging. We're suffering from a lot of radiation damage, but, um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a good extra challenge for us, I think. Better th but anything's better than cops. I'll take anything more than the cops. Okay, for some reason, we do have mutants here. They might have followed me back from when we were at their compound earlier today, but- I don't know what the heck he thinks he's doing down there all by himself. He's try probably trying to get up the ladder, but he can't quite make the jump. So he's a little bit desperate right now, I think. I actually believe that there are several mutants here now. They might have <laughs> forgot to look at the date and time when they were going to do their little raid over here on me. Very slight repairs here. We're not taking a lot of damage today, it doesn't seem like. Man, I, I don't know how much XP we're getting, but it seems like a lot. We are killing a lot of zombies here tonight. Just checking the status of the ramps. The ramps are looking fine. How's the pit looking down there? The pit's looking kind of crowded, honestly, but I don't know if I dare to do this. Oh, that works. Okay, good to know. We do definitely have some cops here now, so okay, tuck me into position here. Oh, yep, cop right up front here. Okay, we're on a cop wave here at the very end. Whoop. And cops are blowing up. Luckily, that was not up here. I don't know where it was. Probably down in the pit somewhere, although... There's a bunch of fire up here, so who the heck knows? The pit's looking pretty clean. I think that's gonna hold up through the night. We won't have any massive craters to deal with tomorrow morning. That's a plus. I'd like to not do a whole bunch of fill work down there again. The question is, are the cops gonna shoot at me? And if they do, are they gonna be able to hit the blade trap? So far, so good, but I haven't seen many cops. I've only seen two or three so far. They are radiated though, so they get like the triple shotgun blast. And it, I just saw that one come up you saw him walk up right there. Usually they will stop at the end down there and shoot at me. So the fact that he didn't do that makes me think that he doesn't have good line of sight on me. Bit of a lull here. Let's get some repairs in. Yep, that front piece there is about 50%. Overall though, I don't even think we're gonna have to switch over to the other side. We have it just in case, but for the most part, all the action is gonna take place over here on this side. All right, the radiation has finally got me in a position where I definitely need some first aid here. Take a painkiller very quickly. And, oh, the sun is rising. I think we've almost made it. Sneak a couple of crossbow bolts into these guys if I can. Gotta vary things up, you know? We don't want them anticipating. We want to keep them guessing all the time. All right, the blade traps are starting to spin more slowly. They're definitely taking some damage. I've repaired them several times throughout the night. Holy crap, man. This is a killer little corridor that we've built here. And we're almost out of alien blaster ammo. Let's save that. I'll unpack another box of shotgun slugs. There we go. I think I got like four or five more of those. And it's, uh, it's 4 a.m. It is morning. I didn't hear the bell over the commotion here, but we just got to do cleanup and we're all done here. Screamers be damned. I'm not even really worried about screamers because uh, I've had a couple screamer incidents and they call in like four or five zombies. It's just not really a threat for us. Yeah, it's not like when I was in, uh, last time I was in New York City, man. When the screamers in New York City scream, you know it because 30 or 40 zombies will show up immediately. But here, here in the wasteland, yeah, not a big deal. 
<laughs> Look at the lumberjack down there just hanging off the edge. He's like wedged in the uh, vault door over there. Let's see if I can do this and bring him down. Nope. Nope, he's still stuck there. All right, I think that just about does it. There's a slow trickle coming up to the top here, but I'm interested in kind of getting down and, yeah, taking care of all of these guys who don't seem to know what they're really doing, so I don't... Because, like, sometimes these guys, they come right up to the top there. Other times, they do not. They just kind of get stuck down below, and I guess grenades is probably not the way to go with these guys. They're too tanky. I don't even know that the club is the way to go, honestly. Let's get the slugs back out. There we go. Oh, and I do have, like, toxic poisoning. Oh, here's... <laughs> that stupid mutants are still here. What are you guys doing down there? Anyway, where's that other one? Yeah, see, I was talking about the cobblestone. Obviously, that was... I mean, not an issue, but we did lose some of it. Otherwise, though... The pit is pretty much pr pristine. Yeah, don't get stuck, actually, in the goopy corpses down there. Yeah, because we've got, like, the communication pathways so they can get out the other end. Man, this system is just spot on. It's great. All right, we use the alien tech we found at Area 51 to kind of wrap things up around here. Okay, just double-checking. Yep, the motorcycle <laughs> is fine. That's good. Okay, I guess we can take it outside now and park it where it belongs and let's just do a quick damage assessment here and then I'll go through the process of getting all these corpses cleaned up so we did lose there was an explosion out here at some point during the night I think it was a cop that blew up over here did a little bit of damage took off some of the fresh sheets and definitely did some damage to the ramp here we'll try to get the ends of the ramp upgraded to steel for the next horde but otherwise we didn't lose eh, just like little bits and pieces here and there but we didn't lose any critical parts of the base we didn't even lose the blade traps this time around man what a death trap we've built here all right there we go a little bit of a dump chest right there get that stuff out of here and i'll head back down i'm gonna scoop up all of the loot from all the bodies i'll get the place cleaned up i'll get things organized and we shall conduct a raid over at the what was it the nav tech research facility in a couple of hours thank you very much for joining me on this adventure and i will see you hopefully in the next one Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.